welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a very special video to thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers. Woo 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 woo. I'm not even gonna put the sound effect in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like an absolute idiot, aren't I? Oh well. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. It really means a lot to me that we have hit 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I am so excited and I'm so proud. So today I wanted to do a special video where it's more like a Q&A. I have pulled together some general questions that I get um, on my socials as well. And then I have pulled together some questions from the community tab where I asked you guys, do you have any questions for the 1,000 subscriber video? And we'll get into it. Okay, just before I get into this as well, I have been very, very sick. <laughs> I have actually been bedridden with the flu for the last three days. Today is the first normal day that I have actually like done work and stuff. And honestly, I don't, maybe I should have taken another, another day off. <laughs> so I'm really sorry if like I'm pausing a lot. Also, I have got my tea, grab your own cup of tea and let's get into these questions. So the first general question that I have here is, do I have any advice on hitting 1000 subscribers forward slash monetizing your channel? Yes, I do have advice. I would, so I believe in YouTube language, <laughs> you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 views or channel views to hit monetization qualifications. And then you have to go through an application progress, Mm. then you have to go through an application process with YouTube and then they will basically review and approve you to the creator program. So my best advice for this honestly is just make what you like. Really, truly make what you like. Don't really go for an appeal or an audience or anything like that. There are so many other videos on YouTube that will tell you to go like check on the search bar. What's most searched on YouTube? What is What are people looking for? And that's the way, and that's great. If you wanna grow a channel really, really quickly, and not have a consistent audience, <laughs> then go that method. <laughs> because I honestly think that like, people can get viral pretty quickly. And I can also mention this briefly in a minute on like a little tangent, but people can go viral very, very quickly. But the problem with going viral is your community does not stick. The, the people that watch that video or the two videos that you go viral for may not stick around for your channel the rest of the way. And then those numbers will start to deplete and then that kind of affects your mental health etc cetera, etc cetera. so my main advice for hitting 1000 subscribers on youtube would be make what you like really enjoy what you're doing and then maybe also just clip for social media i think social media is a massive massive presence online and i think that you should have one if you have a youtube channel so if you have a youtube channel maybe make yourself a dedicated social media for that so instagram tiktok etc and then use clips from your videos and then try and edit them into something appealing for tiktok and uh, instagram tiktok is a whole other beast honestly you can just use the templates and everything or like the popular trending sounds on tiktok as well to help grow your audience there and then they may find that you have a youtube channel and that's great but i I think Instagram as well is very particular about the kind of content that works really well. So what I would say is just make what you like, be very consistent with your uploads if that's once a week or twice a week, etc. And then uh, clip for social media, use social media. So the next question is, what is it like to hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube? And oh my God, it's a party. <laughs> Honestly, it is so incredible, really and truly. I think in today's age, like, there's a lot of channels over there with like millions and millions and gazillion subscribers. What's PewDiePie on now? Like a billion subscribers? I don't know. But there are so many other bigger channels and I feel like the, the 1,000 number is just like, I don't know, it's looked down upon or something like that. And that's a big achievement. If a 1,000 people were in the room right now and I was talking to everybody, I would probably be like, <gasps> me? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, thank you all so much. I am incredibly proud of this channel. I'm incredibly proud of myself and of the community and for everybody joining in. I really wanted to make a dedicated YouTube channel for gaming because gaming is a passion of mine and I really, really enjoy it. And it's so nice to see that everybody has been so supportive and I wanted to make this separate channel like away from my music reaction channel. If you didn't know, I have a music reaction channel, which is kind of like the main channel, which is what started as the main channel anyway. And that is a channel with over 37,000 subscribers. I know, I know, big number. But I will get onto that in a minute if you would like to know more about that. <laughs> so linking in with that, I have another question that have has been asked to me before and it is, does having another channel of 37,000 subscribers help with this channel's numbers, like help you get to 1000. And honestly, no. <laughs> you would think that, but absolutely 
not no it does not help at all because the other channel that i have that was the main channel or that started as the main channel and then became the reaction channel is basically a channel that somehow hit virality and then i went viral in 2022 and got like 20,000 subscribers in the space of two three months and then slowly from that my audience has been continuing to grow from there i'm now at 37.9 i think thousand subscribers and i'm very grateful for that channel's growth honestly but if it were true that having a bigger audience on one channel would give you a big audience on another channel, then I would have hit a thousand subscribers way sooner when I started this channel in October. I would have uh, hit monetization sooner. I would have had a lot more subscribers. Like if you think about 37,000 over there, and then me here, I, I have a thousand subscribers, like the numbers don't add up. So no, I don't think having another channel that has that many subscribers has helped my progress at all with this channel. And I don't think it's hard to see why because my reaction channel is for reactions, it's entertainment purposes, it's trailer reactions, it is music reactions, K-pop reactions. And that audience honestly does not like, <laughs> does not come over to the gaming side a whole bunch. Maybe one or two, maybe even a couple of hundred, but not in the thousands of the drones. So does it help having another channel like that? No, not really. <laughs> honestly, I think I just enjoy having a more steady, consistent community growth on this channel than I did having the 20,000 subscriber burst in 2022 because honestly that did a whole bunch to my mental health. And if you wanna hear more about that, <laughs> you are welcome to put that down in the comments and I would be happy to talk about going quote unquote viral on a reaction channel. All right, so those are the general questions that I thought I would get out of the way first. So now I'm gonna move on to the community tab questions where I asked you guys if you had any questions for the 1000 sub video and let's get into it. Okay, I am going to read these off of my phone because I did not pull them up on YouTube on my laptop because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so the first question comes from Princess Ireland. I did also um, reply to Princess Ireland in the comments on this um, section in the comment section here as well, but I feel like I'm gonna address it here in the video and it said, have you thought about doing more long form style let's plays regularly on your channel where you play an entire game from start to finish similar to God of War? Um, yes, absolutely. So <laughs> yes, that's yes, 100%. So if you're new here, I did a God of War playthrough on my channel, God of War Ragnarok from start to finish, and it was wonderful. I am also gonna be doing the DLC, so that is coming soon. So if you want to see that, let me know. So where I think this question is coming from is because I have touched on games like Bloodborne, Elden Ring, and Fallout, which are massive open world games. And I did not continue those playthroughs. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I'm not very good. <laughs> so I need to get good maybe before I start playing those games again. But in that I'm not very good, I don't think it makes a very good content because I'm particularly stuck in some areas for a long time. And I just don't think anybody really wants to see that. Number two, those videos also did not prove to do very well on the channel. So there are some videos that are popular than others, but those videos in particular did not prove very, uh, very popular. And that's why I decided that I might actually just turn my energy into something else and something more consistent. When Hellblade 2 came out though, I did think that maybe I should just stick to linear narrative games on the channel um, here in YouTube form. And then for any open world games, if I still wanna like pick them up and play them, I'm gonna head on over to Twitch. I am starting to hopefully get back into streaming every Wednesday night on Twitch. So if you are interested in that, the link will be in my description. I'm just gonna take a sip of tea because I am sick and I feel it coming back. Nothing like tea. It's mint tea, by the way. What are you drinking? Let me know. So yes, Princess Ireland, thank you so much for your comment. Yes, I will be doing more long form, full end to end games on this channel with playthroughs. I have obviously done that with God of War and, and Hellblade 2 now, and I have just started Mass Effect and Mass Effect will be continued through as a full playthrough. Whether or not we do Mass Effect 2 or 3 depends on you. So if you like those videos, make sure to go and like and comment on those videos, maybe share them with friends because I would love to see them do a little bit better and then we can have a look at see the playthrough. Now, if I am um, just at the end of Mass Effect, I'm like, oh my God, I'm in love with these games. I need to continue, then absolutely I will. So yeah, it's completely kind of like up in the air at the minute, but the full playthrough of Mass Effect 1 will be on this channel. Thank you again so much, Princess Ireland, for your question. All right, next question comes from Danny B. Um, hi, Danny B. Oh, I love Q&A video. <laughs> My question would be, what would your perfect game look like? Oh, the subject type of world, type of gameplay, that sort of thing. Interesting. I don't know, Danny, because I feel like that's such a broad question. However, I can tell you what my favorite games are and why I like them. And then it'll probably be something in along those lines. So I do love God of War. I think visually and um, story-wise, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I really like North Norse mythology. So I think that's probably why I really enjoy those games a lot. However, my favorite games of all time are Uncharted and The Last of Us. 
not including The Last of Us 2. I listen. <laughs> it's fine, but it's not just The Last of Us 1 and then Uncharted 1 to 4. Okay, <laughs> that, that's it. But I really enjoy those games because of the realness of the characters. And I really like that because I think that it's so difficult to ca capture realism in story writing and I think that the story writing for those games in particular was just absolutely ugh, masterful absolutely so good I so yeah I love those games I love how well they were acted I love how they were directed I like everything about them so I would say those two games I hope that helps answer your question but I it just I feel like that's such a broad question I have no idea how to answer that <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much Danny for your comment all right so the next question comes from steamy streamers what's up Keith Keith is a fantastic Irish streamer as well he goes under steamy streamers on YouTube and on kick I think on kick.com so feel free to go follow him he's unreal so his question was uh, my question would be what video did you have the most fun making for the channel which one are you most proud of that's a good question I have to go check my channel <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared for research. I didn't know I had to do homework for this question. All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can uh, go have a look. Okay, so I had a quick look through my channel, and I have to say, I think the most fun. I, I won't say video. I will say videos. I really enjoyed the God of War Ragnarok series. I had a lot of fun playing them, recording them, uh, editing. Like I just loved that whole series. So I feel like that was kind of like a given. I am very proud of the two videos that I made that are kind of like essay style videos because I am just, I'm, I used to write and I did an English and drama degree in college and I just haven't written for such a long time. So trying to rehone those skills is so freaking difficult so i am very proud of a short hike the little review that i did about a short hike regarding um a game for your mental health i really like that video it didn't perform very well but i am just very proud of that video and also the stardew valley video the big stardew valley video that i did um a beginner's journey i have regrets that video took me so long to make <laughs> it took me so long to make and write and edit and I'm just proud that I got it up on my channel I feel like it again it didn't perform great it performed good but like didn't perform great but I'm very proud of that video in particular it just took so freaking long to make just if you have seen it you'll know <laughs> like it's just so so long I do also love like talky videos so I really liked the ranking every video game I've ever played video and also um first time in the wasteland where I played the first two um the opening of Fallout 1 and Fallout, Fallout 3 um not so much talky but I really liked the comparison and I had a lot of fun making that too so it was a really long-winded way of just saying everything <laughs> everything on my channel it's gold okay god <laughs> all right i'm gonna move on to the next question thank you so much steamy streamers thank you so much keith love you okay this is from amelia hi amelia again if you're not following amelia you what are you doing what are you doing amelia is a wonderful mod on my twitch channel but also a dear dear friend and has her own youtube channel for gaming and reactions so congrats on the 1000 subby wubbies girl oh thank you my question for you is who is your biggest inspirations in the gaming content creation scene love you always oh that is interesting uh oh i okay <laughs> i have a lot I have a lot of inspirations. I think Amelia is one of my biggest inspirations, honestly. If you've ever seen Amelia's like edits and cut, like the way she edits is actually amazing. I don't know how she has time. I don't know how you have time. How you do? I don't know. I, th I think that's incredible. Um, I think in terms of like uh, bigger creators or quote unquote bigger creators, I really like Cozy K. I love her channel, um, which kind of became like a Cozy Hobbies channel. And then she's like, made a new channel now just for cozy gaming which is great um aona in the cozy gaming space as well is absolutely phenomenal love her work who else do i really like in the gaming space jacksepticeye love that guy and he's irish so i really like him he's really cool and alana pierce i really enjoy alana's work and i have always loved her channel yeah and i just i really enjoy like the reviews that she had done and then like her takes on a lot of things because she uh, used to be a games journalist and now she's a games writer. Also, Emilition is a fantastic content creator. And again, I would definitely recommend going over and subscribing to her channel. Um, she is incredible. Her growth on YouTube has been inspirational. I really love her gameplays and I will often watch um, her YouTube videos in the background while I'm working. So I really love her channel. So definitely go over and subscribe to that too. So yeah, really love those creators. I think that's everybody that I'm thinking of. There's probably somebody I missed out. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you so much for your question, Amelia. And the final question comes from El Obito. Hi, El Obito. Um, they have just said, seeing as we got a brand new puppy, oh, a Labrador, a mix with mostly black with some white and brown marble legs. Oh my gosh, how cute. They sound like so, such a cute puppy. My question is, what animal would you love to have as a pet and what breed if possible? I have three cats. That's enough. <laughs> like, please stop me. <laughs> okay, for, listen, it's unintentional. I had three cats unintentionally. I had one cat who came to me in 2019 as a stray, had some injuries. We fixed her up, patched her. She never left. That is until 2021 and she left for three weeks and I thought she was dead. She's never been gone that long at all ever. And we were so sure she was dead. This was then confirmed by some neighbors in, in the village who were like, by the way, there is a dead tabby cat on the road. And I was like, oh my God, that's probably her. I went out, saw the corpse and I was like, that's her. She's gone forever. My love, my dear, my life, she's gone. And then <laughs> she wasn't. <laughs> so while we were in that mourning period, I had a lot of cat food and cat beds, etc. And I was like, I'm going to donate them to a charity, um, a local like cat rescue. And then I went to the cat rescue and I was like, you got any kittens? So then I picked up two kittens and then a week later she turned up. <laughs> so now we have three cats unintentionally. So I honestly don't want any more cats. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if I if I didn't have any pets, would I have a pet? I am not sure. I think pets are like such a big responsibility, but I do love them. I do love dogs. I have grown up a lot of my life terrified of dogs. So I don't know if I can ever own a dog again. And if I did own a dog, it would be a small dog because the dogs that I was afraid of were basically South African dogs, which are a lot of them very, very big, bitey, gar gar dogs. Okay, what was that? <laughs> oh God. This video is, is turning into something else. Anyway, if I could have a dog, it would probably be a small breed and a rescue. And um, if it was any other kind of animal, it would probably be like a little, a little tortoise. Oh my God, so cute. Or um, a chinchilla because they're very soft, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to close out with what is the future of this channel going forward? So I want to continue playthroughs on the channel, such as like the Hellblade 2 playthrough and the God of War Ragnarok playthrough. So end-to-end -end linear narrative playthroughs are going to be more featured on this channel. Um, so we're currently doing the Mass Effect playthrough, but I do also want to start either um, God of War DLC is, is a definite. It's going to come eventually whenever I have the time. But also, I kind of also want to start um, a new PlayStation game because we're currently playing Mass Effect on Xbox. So I would like to do it at a PlayStation 1 too. So it's either going to be Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I've never played that or I've never played the original either. Or um, Red Dead 2, which I have never played. I have played the first one, but I've never played the second one. So if you have a preference, let me know down below in the comments. And hopefully if I do get time, I'll be able to start churning out those videos for you. Other than playthroughs though, I do want to try and do some reviews and maybe some fun collaboration videos as well. If you're interested in anything like that, please let me know down below. Um, reviews in particular, I think like sometimes I have a lot to say, specifically when I end a game like um, Hellblade 2, for example, or Day Dave the Diver, I'm so close to ending, but I, I am prolonging that <laughs> because I don't want it to end. It is such a good game. It's way better than it ever should be. I just, I might have a lot to say on that. So if you would like more of these kind of rambly, let's have tea kind of videos, make sure to let me know because I would appreciate it. And I love hearing from you guys. I really love hearing from you. Anytime I get a notification, there's a comment. I'm like, oh, I got a comment. I'm so excited. So anyway, so yeah, <laughs> if you can, that'd be awesome. All right, and that is everything that I have to say about um, hitting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I hope that helps you. Um, if you want any more information or if there's anything else that I didn't get to answer in this video, just leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to respond in the comments. Or if you need a new video, that's no problem. I'm happy to do that too. But yeah, I am just so incredibly grateful for 1,000 subscribers on YouTube for the gaming channel. And I'm just like, <laughs> for where this channel is gonna go and I really appreciate all of your support so if you have any feedback at all please leave it in the comments on my videos or on this video itself I am just so happy that you're here honestly truly you look great does anybody tell you that lady you just mm, yeah so good you working out that new haircut probably you look good <laughs> thanks for being here I'll see you guys in the next one bye